If you own a Jeep Wrangler, you know the horn on it is next to useless. So, let's install this bad boy. This is the Wolo Bad Boy Model 419 horn. You can pick one of these up at Harbor Freight for about $37.99. So with that 20% off coupon, you're going to be out the door for a little over $30. Let's get this thing opened and see what's in the package. Included in the package is the horn housing itself, an instruction sheet, a sticker, a fuse adapter if you need it, and a bolt inside of a very small reusable plastic bag. This is supposed to be a very simple installation, so let's put that to the test. The stock horn on a Jeep Wrangler is located directly behind the driver's side headlight and in front of the windshield wiper fluid container. Before beginning this process, you should probably disconnect your battery. I didn't bother, so let's keep going. The wiring for the stock horn is right here. Slide up this red clip, squeeze this little button, and the plug pops right out. With the plug detached, the horn is just connected by one single bolt. To remove the horn, you'll need a one half inch socket, like this. Simply slip it on the bolt, and even as rusted as mine was, it comes off very easily. Taking my time here, simply because I don't want to drop this washer. Get that out of the way, and the old stock horn slips right off. There we go. We can discard this now. Since this horn is not a plug-and-play device, what we're going to need to do is cut our old plug wire here, create a couple little jumper wires, and just do a little wiring magic. As you can see, I just cut off the old plug, but I left myself just enough pigtail wire in case I need it in the future. So here's my entire wiring setup. I created two little jumper wires with spade connectors, put some spade connectors on the existing wires, and everything should be able to slip directly onto the new horn perfectly. The bolt for the new horn fit perfectly in the existing mount. I had to fidget it around a little bit and bend it, but it worked, fits very nicely, and I have plenty of clearance underneath that support bar there. Over on this side, you can see how I wired everything together. I'm still going to go ahead and cover that with some heat shrink. But other than that, everything's wired in place. It's been tested once. I'll get my heat shrink on. And I'm done. So that's it. That's this entire installation. Very simple. Very clean mount. Looks good. Fits well. You can see how I did the heat shrink over those wires there. Everything will be waterproof. I'll probably hit it with some liquid tape as well. We'll see. Other than that, we're done. But as usual, how about a proof of concept? Another project done. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, you know I'd appreciate that thumbs up like. Feel free to follow us on Instagram and see what projects don't make it to video. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe. Or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.